maybe this is going to be a mistake, but I don't think it will be. Um, hey, Rebels, can I get a mortar strike? Please? Okay, here we go. Come on, is this it? Please tell me this is it. Please tell me this is it. Is that it? Oh my god, we did it! I'm gone, man! Love to all, and welcome everybody! My name is Black Hollow, and this is Ghost Recon Wildlands. Welcome back, everybody, to Bolivia, where today is moving day. For those of you guys that missed the last episode, you missed a great one, and I suggest you go back and watch it. We took down the stew maker, snatched and grabbed him right out of his uh, laboratory, and uh, brought him back. In the days since, he has been uh, revealing a lot about his operation, confirmed some of the identities of people that have been suspected to be uh, disposed of at his hands, and some families are getting closure. Um, I've been staying here at the rally point, trying to, you know, keep my eyes on the prison and stuff like that, make sure that everything has died down, and indeed it has. So our business is uh, essentially done here in San Mateo, and we are going to be moving on to Mohokoyo, which is a province... Um, just to the uh, to the west, uh, and if you guys see, I have a waypoint set already on the other side of that mountain range. Um, we're going to take a drive over there. I've got all my gear loaded up already, and I'm ready to go just in my civvy clothes, or at least as, cl as close to civilian clothes as I brought down here. Uh, let me go ahead and get my team loaded up in the SUV, and then I can tell you guys what's going on. Um, so, for those of you that don't know how Wildlands works, um, it, whenever you get your hey, boots down in another Stay area... Team, are you going to... Are you coming? Team, are you? Okay, all right, Weaver. You can just use your teleport pad, I suppose. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know how Wildlands works, basically, when you get into a new area and you're walking around for about 30 seconds, you get a call from Bowman, and she gives you something of a briefing on the uh, on the new province. Uh, I received that briefing when I was shot down over Mohokoyo, uh, and I <laughs> in a helicopter, and I couldn't save the briefing anywhere. It happened, I believe on a stream maybe like, I don't know, two or three months ago, and there's no way for me to get the footage from it because Twitch deletes your VODs after I think like two weeks or something like that. I can't remember, maybe two months, I don't know. But it's not up there, uh, basically, is my point. And so I did some research on the on the area. Um, what we're looking at is the uh, one of the main areas that traffics cocaine. Uh, there are three missions that are loaded up on the map right now, uh, and they are dropped in from the start, uh, Bowman already has intelligence on the locations of several cocaine caches, so that is going to be what we're doing today. We're going to head out to Mohokoyo. Uh, we're going to get to the uh, we're going to get to the first cocaine stash, yeah, survey it. Um, also, we're going to stop by a rally point so that that way I can change my clothes and my loadout, spray paint my guns, and make sure that my camo lines up. Because I don't even know what the uh, what the terrain is going to be like out there. Are we looking at hills? Are we looking at, you know, a lot of farmland? Are we, what colors are we looking at? Also, why the fuck is the waypoint taking me to a arm? Why am I getting steered into an enemy base, man? How the, what do I do here? I gotta get the hell out of here. Uh, okay, let me see. I'll just go ahead and, how did that guy not see me? Now he sees me. God damn it. Okay. I didn't think I was gonna get led right into a fucking base. I'm not, I'm picking my fights today, man. I'm picking my fights. Okay, let's go ahead and pull over right here and figure out. What is the best way to get over there? Oh, I see. I could have just flipped around like right over here and went up the highway. That, I don't understand. I don't understand why that's the way the game did it. You know what? You know what? Fuck this Suburban, man. I'm calling it in an armored SUV. We'll take that the rest of the way out here. Here I am trying to be all casual with a, with a, you know, a, a, a civilian vehicle and civilian clothing, but... You know, at this point, I think I'm going to need a big-ass fucking armored car with a big-ass fucking vehicle on the top. Because, as you can see, it looks like reinforcements are incoming. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead. We've got to pick our fights here. I wonder if... No, no. Actually, this is not going to be one of the fights. We might be able to evade this. And also, my armored car is on the train track. So, let's go ahead and get this thing off as soon as possible. I'm going to take go. the... um. I'm going to take the train tracks down and then hit that uh, highway. Hopefully, I can get the intersection... But uh, I, I don't want to deal with these guys at all. Okay, guys. Uh, once I'm in Mohokoyo and I get a little bit closer, we can resume. But goddamn, that that almost popped off right there, man. Oh, fantastic. Finally at the rally point. My god, that, that GPS, man. 
I need to trade in the US government issued GPS for a garment. That thing would have been able to figure out that that was an enemy base. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we are here in Mohokoyo. Um, I I did not get the call from Bowman. I was kind of hoping that maybe I might luck out and get another one, but I didn't, unfortunately. One of my biggest like criticisms of the game. Uh, and, and I only offer it because I've, I've invested, you know, like 50 plus hours into this game, you know, 30 plus episodes, uh, is the fact that you can't replay those cutscenes. That's it. That's, that's really the fact, um, it, of, of story progression and reminding yourself where you're at. I mean, granted, most games you can't really replay cutscenes, but you don't always find yourself in the most opportune situations when you land in a new province. A perfect example was when I exfilled from Kiwani, uh, over to Medea Luna. Now, thankfully, Medea Luna doesn't have any, um, any missions or anything like that, and it's part of a DLC if you want to get the missions there. However, uh, if there were missions, when I delivered that chopper, I would have gotten a briefing for it. So, I, I feel like if they were to implement some sort of a, uh, hold that thought Bowman kind of sim, uh, uh, mechanic or something like that to where you could you know, just pause and, and not have that phone call happen until you until you want it to happen. I think that that would be great. Um, but anyway, I digress, you guys. We are here in Mohokoyo. It looks like the surrounding area is a very, um, there's a lot of, a lot of open hills. Um, there's not a lot of vegetation from what I can see. I mean, there's vegetation, but it's more like grass and sparse bushes and whatnot. I'm thinking that the best camo for someplace out here would be something a little bit sandy or colored, maybe, um, uh, maybe like a coyote brown even for some of the darker areas. Uh, the AU camo would actually, ATC AU or something like that would work out very well for those areas. Now, uh, let's see if we can maybe pinpoint where one of these coke stashes is at. We've got intel on the location of several cocaine caches in Mohokoyu. I want you to locate the caches and destroy them so we can okay. put pressure on Mohokoyo's buchon. Okay, so that's basic. That Actually, that was a very easy way for her to say, you know, what's going on here is we've got several cocaine caches and we just got to, we got to destroy them to try to bring him out of hiding uh, and have him make a mistake so that we can find it. It looks like the area in which this cocaine cache is located uh, is very similar uh, to to the surrounding areas coyote brown ish colors. I think I'm gonna get my outfit together you guys I'm gonna get my guns together. Uh, we'll travel over there and then we'll see where it's at I now another thing is that I I don't actually see anything where the arrow is at so I'm wondering if the cocaine might be underground Um, and if that might be the entrance over there or if this is a radius and it's like find the Find the base, and it's like that's the only base that's out there. So we'll figure out uh, what's going on once we get out there. I'm just gonna get my ammo together. I'm gonna get my guns together, and then we can hit the road. The only way that they're gonna see me, you guys, is if they have thermal. So here's to hoping they don't have thermal, <laughs> and also helicopters. Uh, we got about half a kilometer to go to get out there, uh, and I'm taking the remainder of the time on foot just because I want to make sure. Uh, that I, I take the best position. I didn't want to take a helicopter in on the off chance that they had SAM sites. Um, and I also wanted to make sure that, um, uh, they didn't see me as well because I don't know where the GPS is going to take me at this point. All right. It looks like that chopper is FOing. So we're going to keep going. I believe that this is the first time I've ever worn a ghillie suit of a, like a sandstone nature and my entire face right now completely covered up yeah there's no way that they're gonna see me also put some goggles on because it's kind of arid out here and the dust is getting in my eyes so i just want to make sure that you know it's kept a little uh kept at bay so to speak all right it looks like we've got a we've got a position yeah on this base over here however okay so we're getting a couple things marked right now team i'm gonna ask you if you don't mind to hold position um, now this is where it's marking. However, I can see now that it's a radius. So let me go ahead and push up right over here into the radius and let me see what happens. Yeah, it looks like the arrow has gone away. So someplace in here is the cocaine stash and I'm going to go ahead and assume, uh, that, uh, that it, it's going to be in this facility right here. Now looking at the buildings in one, oh, it looks like they got, yeah, they got a lieutenant right there. So we might be able to interrogate him for some information. They got somebody on the high ground. Let me see if I can. Uh, oh, oops. I accidentally hit the uh, hit the drone key. Let me see if I can um, uh, run the spotting on this here and get all of the guys. Yeah, it looks like we got almost all of them, I believe. Yep, that is everybody. Okay, so fan <laughs> that makes my life way easier. My money is that it's in here. This is where the where the coke stash is. Um, uh, whether it's on the top or on the bottom in the garage out front, looks like they have a truck right there. Maybe they're trying to load it up or something like that. 
Um, so we're gonna have to do a little bit more recon. Let me use the drone for that really quick, actually. Can I get lucky and see inside of this building at all? Uh, we obviously have the sniper, so I have to be careful with that. If I can identify where this shit is at, then I can... Then I can, oh my god. Full of white powder. Yep, that's it. Break a crackhead's heart. That's gotta be it in there. We, they've, got the, they've got the forklifts, they've got everything, and even the arrow is in there now. I don't have 100% visual confirmation, but it looks like coupled with the intel that Bowman's given me, this is where, yeah, that's where all the cocaine is at. Oh my god, did you see all those arrows? Holy crap. Okay, uh, so here's what I'm thinking we do. Here's what I'm thinking we do. Um, we, uh, we, we set the alarm off. Um, after we maybe, I, actually, hang on, how do I want to do this? I think the first thing that I'm going to do is take out this guy over here. He is in a position that I want to make sure that, you know, he doesn't get a cheeky spot on me or anything like that. Looks like the lieutenant is also moving his way back here, so I might be able to just drop down on him and snatch him up right here. Uh, let me see, am I going to get lucky with this? It looks like we have a decent little cliff face. Also, unfortunately, there's a guy back here. Oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot to tell you guys. Got my M9 back. Uh, it's been all serviced and all that jazz. I... Oh, shit. He's right there. I don't know if I can drop down to him, though. It's a little too precarious for my liking. I think it's a little too far for the drop as well. Uh, oh, hey. We've got rebels back here. Okay. Here's how we're going to do this. I'm really happy that lieutenant came out because otherwise it would have been like... I, I would have had no idea that those guys were there. Okay. Let me see here. So... We have a guard that's close by to him, and it looks like he is alone as well. So let me see if I can just drop him, open up this. Now let me go ahead and deploy a drone, and out here in the front, we're going to call in a diversion. There we go. And now my team is holding for Overwatch, so if I need to tell them to open fire, they can open fire for me. Uh, let me go ahead and get up here. There we go. I, I kind of wanted to lose the ghillie suit, but I actually really like it. Are you going to get out and fight, dude? Like, are you... Are you going to go do stuff? I have freed you. Okay, it looks like uh, the diversion is happening right now. Okay. Are they moving to the front? No, that guy's taking cover right there. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Let me take him out. Take him out. And we'll take... Oh, come on. Take him out. Okay. We're hunted right now because they know where the rounds are coming from, but they don't know uh, that I'm not a rebel at the very least. So they'll still have a decent spot time. Looks like we've got a heavy here. And I'll just make sure he goes down right in the back. All right, we've got one more guy close. Looks like he's on high ground right now. Yeah, he's dead. He is definitely dead. Okay, one more up here. Where's he going? 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 I'm not going to open fire until I absolutely have to. Uh, let me get C4 out really quick. I believe this is C4. There we go. We got one primed. We got two primed. Let me check the upper floor just to make sure that, uh, there isn't anything up here that's going to, uh, that's going to cause me a mission failure. I'll just throw some stuff up here. We're bringing this whole fucking building down right now. Um, everyone's still holding out front. I believe that this guy might have called in backup. So let me see if I, no, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to take him out. So I'm just going to ride the back of the building over here and get out now we didn't get uh we there is no visual confirmation of us whatsoever they knew that there were more rounds coming from behind but as of right now only the rebels are suspected they do not know that other forces are here so let me go ahead and blow that whole place up in there and we can get the fuck out of here hell yeah that was nice that was smooth that was exactly how i wanted it to go i'm gonna call in a chopper get my team regrouped um, and we can move into the next location, which is hopefully going to be the same, uh, the same camo and stuff like that. Let me go ahead, actually, and, uh, let me mark this one up really quick. We'll go for, yeah, this one right here. Intel on the location of several cocaine caches in Mohokoyu. I want you to locate the caches and destroy them so we can put pressure on Mohokoyu's buchon. Alrighty, same briefing as before. Guys, I'm just going to call in a chopper really quick. We'll fly over. I'll probably jump out or set the bird down a kilometer out, walk up. We'll take a good position. And we'll burn the place down. This area is heavily populated with enemies, so I think I'm going to set the bird down right over here in cover from that Unidad patrol that's going by. And then we can move in as the sun sets on this uh, on this second cocaine stash. So looks like it's going to be way out there. This is likely the base. 
And right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the same exact building as before. It looks like the base is slightly larger. I'm spying an alarm system. Uh, I'm spying a few different things. Let me go ahead and scan the area real quick. A cocaine hideout. Yeah, go figure. Uh, looks like we also have an observation tower over there where there's likely a sniper. I'm going to go ahead and start moving in on foot, you guys. Uh, we'll take up a better position and then start, uh, start devising a plan. I'm slowly moving in on the base here, you guys. Unfortunately, my camo doesn't exactly match the red petals or whatever flowers these are, but I don't think that there's a pink camo in the game. And I do believe as well it is time for night vision. This is going to be a night op of sorts. So let's go ahead, I think, and tell my team uh, to hold where they're at. I'm going to advance a little bit farther because I see that the coast is clear. And let me see if I can take cover in this bush right here just for the time being all right yeah we are blending in very well i'm gonna send a drone out and see what i can observe uh looks like they've got the same setup and oh wait a minute what get out that's it right there um seriously that's it right there okay is there any inside the building or are they are they loading all of it up right now here hang on the last the last thing i'm gonna do real quick in case it pops off uh let me zoom out and let me do uh, spotting so that while I'm working uh, they can go ahead and spot as many guys as they possibly can here um, I think that's it there is there is none in there that I can see at least I mean maybe this is gonna be a mistake but I don't think it will be um hey rebels can I get a mortar strike please okay here we go come on is this it Please tell me this is it. Please tell me this is it. Is that it? Oh my god, we did it! I'm gone, man! Holy shit, I didn't even get within half a kilometer of that. I don't give a shit about the lieutenant escaping. I got up a level for that one, man. How awesome was that? Holy shit, they've seen us. They've seen us! We weren't even the ones to fire off the fucking mortars. They've seen us, my ass. Uh, oh, by the way, team, we should probably regroup. Okay, so now that we're getting the hell out of here, um, and uh, I'm also going to try to maybe get off my trajectory just a little bit so that way it's not so easy to find me. I'm going to go ahead and open up the map really fast. And um, I also thought I heard a chopper for a second there, so I wanted to grab some cover. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to this real quick. We've got intel on the location same the exact fucking... Yeah, okay, all right, it's the same exact one. Uh, this one... Uh, is the southern one destroy the hit? Oh, okay. Destroy the hidden cocaine cache. So this is going to be hopefully a little bit more challenging. I am going to get, um, oh God, the alarms going off and everything. There goes the lieutenant. See you later, buddy. I'm getting the fuck out of here. You guys got no idea where I'm at. I'm gonzo. Guys, I'm going to call in a chopper. We'll fly down, uh, or up rather, uh, to the, uh, to the last stash. And, uh, hopefully it'll be as easy as this one was. <gasps> There's a chopper coming in. There is a chopper coming in, and I see it. I see it. I see it. And you know what? I'm just going to make sure that this guy doesn't even give me any problems whatsoever. It'd be about right here. No, nope, he turned. Okay, wait for it. No, nope, he... Why is he flying all erratically? It's like he's trying to dodge my rounds or something. Oh, God damn it. Okay, hang on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And boom. There we go. Got him. Okay, we're out of here. Oh, fuck. A car. Okay, got <laughs> <laughs> Gotta look both ways before crossing the street. Yeah, that was all of them. At the very least, that was the only one that had a chance at finding me. Okay, now I can go back to my chopper and get the hell out of here. All right, about half a kilometer out. It looks like the radius is on uh, like a road or something like that, centering around a hiking trail. Uh, and then we have a big heat signature uh, down at the northern end of the radius. Oh, God, I've... I thought I was a little closer to the ground than that. Sometimes night vision really fucks with my uh, my depth perception. Okay, um, now I don't know how hidden this place is going to be. Like, they're saying that it's a hidden cache. So I'm kind of concerned that, you know, we won't be able to find it as easily. However, the giant pocket of enemies makes me feel like we will be able to find it pretty easily. It looks like we've got one single sniper right over here. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, you guys, before moving in on this position... I can tell that there is a seriously um, secretive enemy force out here. And yeah, they are. They Okay, they've got high ground there. Uh, I've got one guy. There he is right there. Okay, some more guys down there. I think I'm going to go ahead and run the spotting skill one more time. And then that way we can just get everybody spotted. Okay, it looks like it's going to be some sort of a cave 
Uh, going back, I don't know how far it goes back, if it's like a mine or what the case is. Uh, and unfortunately, it also looks like everybody's looking at everybody. That guy's looking out, but that guy's looking at that guy, that guy. How could I do this easily? I could probably get that guy, and then I think I could... Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I got this. I think I got this. Okay. So, first guy I'm going to take out is the isolated one that's down here. Looks like he's about 120 meters out, 130 meters out. Uh, where's that chopper at? I hear that chopper, and I don't want to take the shot until I know that I'm okay. And I, I think I am. It actually sounds like uh, it's uh, FO'd. Let me check and see if my suppressor is on, which indeed... Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Crouch, crouch. Thank you very much. Looks like it is not. Okay, there we go. Let's get that bad boy back on. And now I can take this guy out. I'm glad I checked that, man. That would have been bad. Okay, he is dead. Uh, doesn't look like anyone else saw it, which is a good thing. I, uh, let me see here. I think that maybe the next best guy to take out will be probably the one in the back. I'm trying to look at where they're looking right now and make sure that, you know, they're not going to see any of this stuff go down. But yeah, I think that the next best one will be this guy back here. Team, you are holding for me right now, right? Stay if there. not, then please hold. Okay, let's see here. The only risk behind this is whether somebody down low hears me, which I don't know if they will or not. Let me go ahead and use my sidearm then. Because it's got the most noise reduction out of anything. You can get nice and close to this guy and just double tap him real smooth. Okay. Looking to the right. Looks good. We're clear. And dead. Okay. Beautiful. Got one guy right over here that I can probably drop, but I'm afraid that he's going to fall down. So how's about... How could we do this? How could we do this? <gasps> I'm going to grab him. I'm going to go grab him. I'm going to go grab him. Okay, don't make a noise. Don't make a noise. Don't make a noise. I'm ready. I'm ready. No, no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not totally the wrong gun. Okay, now I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, he didn't hear me. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Okay, walking up on him and got him. Got you, buddy. Okay, good. I knocked I knocked him out. I <laughs> kind of wanted to grab him. I saw at the last second there that E was actually the correct key binding to press. Uh, I can definitely take this guy out and... I don't know if I want to use my my uh, HTI for it because I think it's going to be a little bit too loud. Suppressors on this guy. We'll go semi-auto and double tap. Dead. Okay, it looks like someone heard that. I think they're below me. Yeah, they they think something's going on right now. That's for damn sure. Let me drop down here. And let's see if maybe I can get this guy at an opportune time. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They're walking out too. They're walking out. Is everybody walking out? Is everybody walking out? Hang on. No, no, they they didn't think it was anything. I was going to try to set up a quick shot on all of them. Uh, it sounded like they might have called in a helicopter. They did totally call in a helicopter. Okay, we're going to take a, a position right here and just hold. Yep, I was going to say, like, that is definitely flying right over our position right now. So I need to make sure that we are unaffected. Yeah, they're so close that they're literally blowing the leaves off of the cliff. That's right above me. Wow. Any lower, that would have given me a haircut, probably. Or at least trim back my ghillie suit. Okay, we've got the one guy that's right there. How am I going to do this easily? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to keep it quiet. It's obviously been going off without a hitch this entire time. So if I can, uh, I really would like to keep it quiet. Let me actually see, me team. There. Can you go right there for me? And I'm just going to stay trained on... Nope. Don't, okay, don't look at me. I... <laughs> I'm going to stay trained on this guy in case he sees anything. I don't think he will. He shouldn't see me right here. That's for damn sure. Uh, my team is rotating around. Okay. And it looks like the heavy is coming back out. We've got one, two, and three more guys back there. It looks like one of them is walking back. I'm going to take advantage of that moment. My team is moving in. We're good. We're good. This is it. This is it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. He's down. Moving around on the right. I'm going thermal here. I'm going thermal. Target's and... He's dead. Got another cocaine stash up ahead. He's wondering what's going on. He's dead. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, fuck. No, you're not. No, you're not going to call anyone in. I don't even want to get any information from you whatsoever. I've got the weapon stashes out here. I'm good, man. I'm good. The last thing that I want you to do is call in your buddies and fuck up this perfect fucking episode for the most part. I mean, I think I did. I miss the first shot. I can't remember what I missed. Um. OK, so we've got C4. Let me go ahead and rig another C4 up on the explosive barrels just to make sure that those really go up. And uh, let me get another one right here. I'll take a little bit more of their C4. Program it to work with the same frequency as my detonator. Hey, look, a weapons case. I didn't even... 
I didn't even see that. I saw it on the map, but like for some reason my brain didn't go on it. Okay, SRA. Oh my god, that's a really cool looking bullpup sniper rifle. I think that was the sniper rifle. Um, okay, if there's anything left in there, I want to make sure that I destroy that. Got a bunch of flammable materials back here. And uh, milk crates. Those look like they're used in the production of cocaine. So I'll just go ahead and blow up their milk crates while I'm at it as well. Alrighty, guys. We need to verify that all the product has been destroyed. I would say that that's been destroyed. And uh, actually, you know what? The last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to blow up one of their trucks because there's a chance, small chance, that there's some coke in there. So let's go ahead and blow that up while we're at it. And... Where's the boot chong? Those caches were a bit shy of what they should have had. Actually, a lot shy. A lot shy. The boot chong. The boot chong's phone was getting a lot of use during your attacks. The activities triangulated his position, a house in Rancho Sabala. Go check it out. Extract him to an RP. I'm gonna ask him myself. Dashed all his coke. Ha <laughs> ha! All righty, guys. Well, it is going to be another snatch and grab it's in the out. next Whoa. episode. It looks like we have to go to his house. Oh my god, that's the end. That's the- What? It's missions three out of six. This doesn't really make sense. Uh, this has got to be a very long and drawn out mission. Here's what I'm- It's probably this big ass fucking square house right here. Um, here's what I'm thinking. The- The mission- He's not going to be there. Like, I don't think he's going to be in his house for us to grab him. Um... And because of that, I think we're going to get sent on this big, long fucking, you know, cat and mouse game where we got to go find him uh, in another place. So that's kind of what my gut is telling me. I don't know if I'm actually right or not. We will see. And actually, let me set a... Is that a waypoint right there? I'm fairly certain based on the size of the area that this is a waypoint right out here. If it's not... Then I'll have to travel to one of the other ones. Uh, it'll take me a little bit because I called in a car as opposed to a... Oh, there's a lieutenant. So, yeah, we got to we gotta make some headroom here. Um, but I called in an armored vehicle instead of a helicopter because I don't know where the SAM sites are. That is indeed an enemy-controlled base. Okay. And that's also a... Uh, that's a power pole right there. So, <laughs> I gotta have to be careful of that. Let me get a, uh, let me get a different uh, waypoint set here. What's the closest one? Is there only one one fucking rally point for... No, that's Bravo. So where's... Oh, there's Alpha. I'm an idiot. It's right down there. Okay. So that should be pretty easy to get to, actually. I can just take that hiking path on the way up. Yeah, so we'll just go right there. There we go. Fantastic. Guys, I was a little disappointed. I'm not going to lie. When I loaded the game up and I couldn't find a way to 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 redo that call like i i know i'm fully capable of reiterating the objective and the regions um oh cool we drove past one of the side missions there um i uh, i know that i'm fully capable of you know saying what the uh, uh what the motivation behind uh, the province is and um you know what the issues are however it's like there's just a there's a level of immersion in this game that isn't really achieved in many other games and that's why i love the game so much i mean even tiny little things like me chilling at the Ooh, that's pretty cool what is this thing down here i uh i see something shiny and i want to investigate it let me see what this is down here um but no i it's just the immersion of the uh it's the immersion of the ah oh, okay it looks like we got some unidad and then we got some of those guys over there so what happens if i do that they kill each other. That's what happens. Okay, and then both dead. Beautiful. <laughs> and that's just a few less cartel guys and Unidad dudes that I have to worry about moving out from here. Um, But, like, I know I can communicate what the idea is behind the province and stuff like that. It's just, like I was saying, this level of immersion that, I, I don't know, I don't like breaking it. Um, Because it, it, the game is so fucking good at what it does. And actually, it looks like this is the hiking trail right here there we go all right team uh if you don't mind uh going up there a little ways please because i'm gonna go ahead and blow this bad boy up so that no one can get their grubby paws on it i'll wait until after this vehicle passes and then i should be good to go all right let's get the frag prepped and beautiful okay um so like i was saying like that's my biggest criticism of the game is the fact that you can't easily replay cutscenes 
or wait a minute where the fuck is this rally point oh it's right there. okay yeah yeah um you can't easily replay cutscenes. you can replay missions but also another criticism that i have is that there's there's no new game plus i can't restart this game and keep my gear which is something that i would i want to do like i want to play this game again with no hud with all my gear on stream like i wouldn't make a series on it i would play it on stream because it's probably going to be incredibly difficult and i'll pull my hair out left and right uh but that's okay because i have enough hair to pull out anyway <laughs> um but uh no it's just like i i don't know you guys i fucking love the game so so much and i, I oh god team uh yeah uh team come here yeah come here sorry I didn't mean to leave you down there. Um, I'm just really happy that it went off without a hitch. I wish I could have played that call from Bowman for you again, but either way, we're in it. And, you know, the future episode or the next episode of this series or cut of this province, not this series is going to be uh, trying to capture this guy. And I don't know if it's I, I don't know if it's going to last for three missions like that's something that I'm very curious about. So we'll see how it goes for the next episode. But it looks like we've taken a, a big chunk of. Out of Mohokoyo. We have essentially done half of the province uh, thus far. And I'm pretty damn happy as well with my camouflage. Like, I think that this outfit came together perfectly. There is no way that they're going to be seeing me out here. And I actually really even like it without the, um, uh, without the ghillie suit on. It's not, uh, it's not like it's, you know, the most incredible outfit in the world. But still, it's just, it's something totally different than anything I've ever used before. And also, I'm utilizing a new piece of gear that was released in, uh, uh, a recent update which is the trapper mask and that's I think that that's fucking awesome it's perfect for this arid climate and trying to keep you know dust out of the uh, out of the area and stuff like that the camo worked out on my guns I just I couldn't be happier with how it is and for anybody that's curious I'm running four different camos right now if you include the flat colors of coyote brown and um or actually I'm running five if you include both the stand the sandstone and the coyote brown so you guys, like, I, I just, I have so much fucking fun with this game, and I appreciate the hell out of anybody that's watching right now and and uh, and supporting the series and stuff like that because it is so much fun, and we still have so much more yet to go. But aside from all the rambling I've done at the end of this episode, you guys, it's been a great time. That is going to do it for this one. If you made it this far, please leave a like down below, support the series, and I will catch all of you in the next one. So, friends, if you enjoy what you see, and only if, leave a little love in the comment section or leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the rest. Or whatever the hell comes next. And as usual, enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you guys again.